Okay, today I'm going to be putting the original Vac Man in the vacuum chamber. So to be honest, I had never heard of Vac Man until I saw people start mentioning it in my comments section. They kept saying, you need to put Vac Man in the vacuum chamber. So I had to look him up. Apparently he wasn't as popular as his arch nemesis, Stretch Armstrong. Stretch Armstrong, I will destroy you. Except Vac Man isn't made of the same thing as Stretch Armstrong. He doesn't have the gelled corn syrup in him. Instead, he has all of these tiny beads, and he comes with this Vacman vacuum pump. And so what you can do is you put the vacuum pump on the side of his head, and then you get him in whatever position you want. So we'll just sit him like this. And then you suck out the air. So what happens is it sucks out the air from inside of him and then the atmospheric pressure crushes him and it keeps him locked into his position. <laughs> it's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> so look at him a little closer. You can see how the atmosphere has now compressed down on him and it's pressing down on all these little tiny beads on him. And you can break him like this. And then all you do to return him to normal after this is push the button on the side of his head and it lets the air back in. <laughs> it's a pretty cool toy actually. I don't know why I've never heard of him. So you can even do the stretch Armstrong moves and stretch him out. It's kind of hard though. This is kind of a two person job because if you're stretching him out, it's hard to vacuum him out. So it's kind of fun to get in different positions like this. And then once again, just let the air back in and it goes back to shape. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing today with him is first I'm gonna vacuum all the air out of him and put him in the vacuum chamber. And we'll see if he puffs back up to his normal shape. Because in the vacuum chamber, we won't have the atmospheric pressure crushing him down and keeping him locked in. And so he should kind of puff back out like this. And then after I put him in while he's sucked down, then I'll put him in the vacuum chamber just at regular atmospheric pressure and see if he actually puffs up because of all the air that's inside of him. If you remember, I put poor Stretch Armstrong in the vacuum chamber and I had to heat him up first in order to get him to puff up. But for him, he already has a lot of air in him, so I think he'll just puff up all the way. We'll see if he actually pops. And then we'll see what happens if I actually get a full vacuum inside of him by connecting him to my vacuum pump. Okay, so first let's get him in position that we'll put him in the vacuum chamber. How about we do him in yoga position slash cannonball. Okay, let's see what happens to him in the vacuum chamber. See if he comes unlocked in the vacuum chamber. Okay, vac man in the vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. Oh, he's already starting to unpuff. Oh, he's unlocking. He's going completely back to normal. We're not even at full vacuum yet. Oh, he's even starting to puff up. Whoa. So what this means essentially is that the vacuum that was inside of him wasn't actually that good. That means that this vacuum pump wasn't a very strong vacuum because he's puffing up in there, which means he had a lot of residual air inside of him. Okay, so you can see inside of him, all of the beads have just kind of fallen down to the bottom. Okay, we've reached full vacuum now. Let's let the air back in and see if he locks back in place. Okay, so now I'm gonna let the air back in so the atmospheric pressure should come back in and crush him and lock him back into place. 
Let's see what happens. Three, two, one. <laughs> he got a little heavy on the midsection. <laughs> so he, he didn't quite end up in the same position because as he was sitting up, all of the beads fell down to his midsection. So now he looks just a little overweight in the midsection here. And he got some loose saggy skin up top here. <laughs> so we saw that even when I had vacuumed him out with my vacuum pump here, he still puffed up in the vacuum chamber. That means that there was some air left over inside of him. Okay, here's vac man in the vacuum chamber without being vacuumed first. Okay, vac man in the vacuum chamber with no vacuum. Three, two, one. Oh, he's already puffing up a lot. <laughs> he's getting way bigger than before already. We're at a third of an atmosphere in there. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're at 0 0.2 atmospheres. Oh, he's getting bigger. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, we're almost at full vacuum in there. Looks like that's some pretty strong latex because he's not expanding like a balloon would. By now a balloon would have filled up the whole chamber. We're about at full vacuum and he's still expanding. So what's cool, what's cool is you can actually see the beads inside of him. So those are the white beads inside of him. Okay, it looks like he didn't pop. Let's let the air back in and see what happens. Three, two, one. <laughs> looks like he got a little stretched out. <laughs> so it's interesting. It looks like he got vacuumed down a little bit, which means he lost some air while inside of him. Okay, so I cut my vacuum pump thing. I'm gonna stick it in the side of his head here, and then I'll hook my real vacuum pump to the side of his head, and let's see what happens to him. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> okay, so now we're getting a full vacuum inside of VacMan. Okay, so he seems a lot more solid than before. His midsection is like rock hard now. So essentially this vacuum could get down to around a third of an atmosphere. So now he has a full 14.7 pounds per square inch crushing him. Still move him around though because even though there's no air inside of him, the beads can still slide past each other. Then let the air back in. Back to normal. Pretty tough guy. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it and you're not subscribed yet, remember to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when my latest video's out. And leave me any questions or comments you have in the comments section. I'll try to get to them and I'll see you next time.